I will come to this segment first. What would you like to hear a rap about? Martians. Martians? Cool. What, what, what? <laughs> yes, please. You're so polite. You look, you look like you could work at SpaceX or something. Where, where are you from? Uh, You're from Tucson. Oh, no, I meant, meant you know, okay, that's fine. Um, I meant, you know, kind of work-wise. But um, what, what is it about Martians that intrigues you? Uh, mostly their antennae. Mostly their antennae? I didn't even think about antennae. Yeah. If you picture a Martian, are you guys picturing antennae on their head? Yeah. No, he's thinking of caterpillars. But I... <laughs> Okay, Martian antennae. I like that. Guys, over here on this little wedge, what do you want to hear a rap about? Bratwurst. You're not on that side, and it's also a food, so shut up. What? <laughs> I'm going to not follow instructions in many different ways, Chris. <laughs> Guys, over here. Dogs being left alone at home. Dogs being left alone at home. Okay, I mean, technically it violates the animal's rule, but then it's made more interesting. Are you, is, is that what you're worried about at the moment? <laughs> Yeah, what's your dog called? I've got two Rottweilers. Okay, what's your favorite one called? Rose. Yeah, that was very quick. It's just <laughs> Rose. What's the other one called? Shit dog or something. No. <laughs> so Rose the Rottweiler. That is such a lovely kind of delicate name for such a vicious beast. <laughs> okay, Rose the Rottweiler being left at home, Martians and their antennae. Um, people at the back of the room. <laughs> What was that? Hotbox. Hotbox. Is that when you smoke a marijuana cigarette in your vehicle? Yeah. Well, someone over there said no, but then someone over here went, hell yeah. So <laughs> I'm going to assume that is what it means. Because uh, I think all of you could say no, and I would still go with the man who said, hell yeah. <laughs> I'm a hotbox this joint right now. Right. So we have Hotbox. Rosé the Rottweiler being left at home, Martian antennae. Let's come to this side of this bit of the room. What, one second, you guys seem really... I'm going to come to you guys in a moment. I just feel like I should keep you waiting. It's very funny for me. Just have people going, ooh, ooh, please me, please me. Guys, over here, what do you want to rap about? Mmm. <laughs> you said that with a kind of jovial lilt, which I feel that phrase has never been said in. No one's ever like, oh, why are you looking so miserable? I have a urinary tract infection. <laughs> it's okay, cool. Uh, a urinary tract infection, otherwise known as a UTI, men. We, uh, we don't get them, because uh, we're very fortunate with our genitalia. So <laughs> let's come to... Uh, so the people who had that, you, you were really making a gesture, and I, I, you're dressed magnificently. You, you. No, it's really wonderful. This is, this is your real clothes, yes? You're doing high tea? Okay, cool. I mean, that guy did a high tea, but in a different way over there. Um, <laughs> again, he said, hell yeah. So what would you like a suggestion about? What would, what would you like to suggest for the rap? This is the final one, so it better be good. Okay, cool. I feel like it was improved by three people saying it in different voices. <laughs> high tea. For those of you that don't know, a high tea is a British tradition where at around 3 p.m. we'll settle down with some scones, some which are like biscuits but not savoury, with a pot of tea and some little kind of things. You make cucumber sandwiches, yeah, right? Because cucumber sandwiches, people ask why were they invented, it's because the British high class wanted to show off that they could eat food that had no nutritional value. Um, you're like, look how rich we are, we don't even care that there's a famine, we can still eat this, nom 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 nom. So, Eating was like, you know, conspicuous... Cons I did an anthropology degree. I'm very happy I got to use it right then. My parents are like, use your degree. I'm like, I did it, Mum. It's great. So, the suggestions we have were Martians and their antennae, Rose, uh, Rose the Rottweiler being left at home, hot box, um, a urinary tract infection, and high tea. What aspect of high tea do you, did you enjoy the most? The tea itself. What blend do you go for? English breakfast, yeah, but how do you blend your English breakfast? With Earl Grey. With Earl Grey? Well, then it ceases to be an English breakfast. What you've done there is you blended black tea with bergamot. Yes. Yeah. Why are you surprised that I know what that is? <laughs> Usually in Assam as well. Right, okay, cool. That's enough tea chat. Um, this lovely people of the Comedy and Magic Club. A little treat for you guys. A little thing called a freestyle rap. That is a rap made up on the spot based entirely on those suggestions. Never to be seen again. It's never been seen before. And don't worry, it won't be anywhere near as atrociously, embarrassingly bad as you're expecting a privately educated, middle-class, white British boy to be. 
Hello, sorry to interrupt the video. It's me, Chris. If I was drawn by one of the artists from Bob's Burgers, I wanted to let you know that I am going on tour. If you live in or near any of these cities, or these cities, then please do come and see my live show. I can't wait to hear your suggestions for my raps shouted out in person. Tickets are on sale now. The link is in the description or click the card in the top right corner. Thank you for watching and I will see you there. Let's, uh, let's drop that beat, my friend, and have some fun. And more volume on that for me as well. Thank you. And maybe we'll start with yours. My favorite meal of the day, you all agree Sit down and share with me a nice tray of high tea Maybe get a china teapot I gotta make sure that it's hot before the water starts to pour Otherwise the leaves don't unfurl Where did you get it from? Somewhere in the third world Probably India or China Bringing all your family round Never got the shy ones I get a bit of white bread Cutting off the crust If you leave them on the edge of the bread I don't trust you I wanna make sure they got cheese and maybe a little bit of cucumber Yes please, I will take a little scone With a bit of strawberry jam When it comes to high tea in England Everybody who feels on my team Come round and feast upon the tea with the queen Lizzie in a palace, she's got a lot of balance If you say the tea tastes bad, she pours malice on you Getting angry, looking at your crafty Like a little fox hot box in the back seat You can see me, what is the point? I'm Kicking back, got a bong and I'm smoking a joint at the same time. Yeah, you know it won't harm you. Medicinal qualities inside the marijuana. I get the best grade coming from the hydroponic. I drink it in the back of my Dodge Dart on it. The I-10 Freeway 405. I'll be swerving so fast it's hard to stay alive. I'm following the Grateful Dead in a tour bus. All the law on the state, they abhor us. They don't like that we're driving illegally, but doesn't matter. You can Get the weed and get it for free You don't need to bring your own If you hot box bog it in It's when you don't pass the joint Round the little ring You need to go clockwise from the start in Pass the duchy to the left hand side And the Martians don't know this They're up in the air They're like what is a joint We are not aware of these things Yes it brings us all together I feel all of the love I can sense with antenna Never seen them in the cartoon before With a pair of antennae But this I saw Marvin the Martian from Looney Tunes. He says, of course they've got antennae. How do you not assume? Looking like tiny little bugs on the prowl. If I saw a Martian in real life, I would howl. They've got the weird red skin and they felt kind of annoyed that the asteroid belt stops them getting to Jupiter. Like the wall between Mexico and here. It's kind of a little thing. I'll say again, I made a nice comparison to illegal aliens. Yeah, we did that. You might ask me why. I feel kind of uncomfortable. UTI. Why? Because I don't wipe from front to back. And so I got the infection in my urinary tract. I went to the doctor. I said, please doc, I need a little thing to stop the burn on my cock. He says, Krish, usually these guys are not the ones who receive the UTIs. I just wink my eye and say I caught it from my lady. I had a sexual intercourse lately. And he was like, oh, Okay, Mr. Chris, what are your symptoms? It burns when I piss. That is far too much. That's TMI. That's another little acronym that I'm gonna try. What a great thing. Working out of my mind. Maybe get some cranberry. Help you unwind. That's the juice that we use. Get it on offer. I'm going up to the bartender. Order a vodka, but then mix in the juice from the tiny red berry. How many UTs in my life? So many. And if I see the color coming out clear, it's not, it's kind of light pink like rosé The wine that you might get in your glass Oh, she's left on her own That is not a laugh, it's not funny The rap's going on too long I wish that he would shorten all this song Because rosé sat there by the door Going And raising a paw Waiting for a pet mummy to come home She's not a real child Leave her well alone She's out there, there. she's fine on her own Tell the truth When you leave the house she goes celebrates with a whoop!